Hi everyone, this is Teo from Puckablocks.com and today I'm going to review the Steelman and Burn sketchbook. This one is the what's this? This one is the Epsilon series. So Steelman and Burn they put out a few series of sketchbooks. They have the Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, and Zeta. That's six series. The one that I'm looking at is the Epsilon. So the Epsilon series comes in hardcover as well as wire, uh, wire bound and the binding is very good so how good? Um, this good yeah. so it's 124 pages and you can see that I can actually pull the cover all the way to the back the pages open uh, flat and when you have a new sketchbook and the pages are, are somewhat like this you can actually just uh, just pull them apart. Don't worry, the binding is very strong, and you can see that they have this flexible area for to allow for the sketchbook to lay flat. And they use stitching for all their pages, so it's good. And because the pages can lay flat, you can draw across the gutter as well as uh, scan them easily with your scanner. So let's take a look at the paper this is one of my earlier sketchbooks that I use for um, sketching and they're 124 pages so you can really feel a lot of sketches inside um, unfortunately there's no landscape format for this book currently the Epsilon doesn't come with the landscape format. I hope um, maybe in the future Steam and Burn will release the landscape format for this book as they did for their Alpha and Gamma series. So I use these sketchbooks um, to try it out um, with pen and ink as well as some watercolor. The paper is natural white and it is quite smooth, much smoother than the Alpha series. So because the paper is so smooth, it is more suited for pen and ink work rather than watercolor or thin color pencils. So let's take a look at some of the lines. The lines come out very um, sharp, there's no feathering and stuff like that. This is a pen and ink watercolor sketch. I think the watercolor comes out quite well, but because the paper is smooth and there's no wa no cotton content, so actually the water will tend to glide on the paper and because the paper doesn't absorb the water the water will just glide so you have to be careful about how much water you use to prevent them from just gliding around because sometimes when it glides around it's very unpredictable and it may give you some unsightly uh, backgrounds as well more sketches. This is a ballpoint uh, sketch. It's uh, from an ink brush. So the paper is 150 uh, GSM and I think you can see some slight impressions from the opposite. This is a grey tone uh, wash. This is not my uh, favorite paper for watercolor definitely. Um, if you want better paper for watercolor, just try out the Steelman and Burn Alpha series. It is also 124 pages, same 150 GSM, but their paper have more texture on it, so it takes watercolor much better. This is a uh, this one takes watercolor just all right. Uh, I can see some impressions. I think I use this. Is I'm not sure what I use here. This is probably markers. So markers does bleed through a bit. I think I'm not sure if this markers or what. Yeah, but just you have to take note that markers do. Uh, they will have. They will show the impression on the opposite page. So you might have to skip pages to draw, or you can get the much thicker. They have Steam and Burn also have much thicker sketchbooks, uh, thicker in the sense that the paper weight is heavier. 
So they have those sketchbook yet, you might want to do that to look for them if you want heavyweight sketchbook. This is a cafe sketch and you can see here there are quite a bit of back run because the water wasn't able to be absorbed on the paper and they just glide around for in this instance they glide towards the towards this area at these spots here and then they try to form these unsightly back runs. Uh, this is how pencils look on it. Pencils uh, I think are quite alright and the paper is smooth enough to take pencil so you still see some white of the paper showing through but this is not as um, how should I say not as visible as the alpha the alpha they will have a lot of paper showing through so this one is still quite alright and if you see this purple thing going on it's actually a uh, sprayed fixative on a on this water on this brush here that should not I uh, have should not have sprayed so that basically the pigment broke and went over to the other page but for normal drawing uh, situations you're not going to um, have those effects this is a marker pen and ink and markers so markers they do bleed across to the next page uh, I actually like the effect of markers on this paper but this will not be the sketchbook that I use for marker works because you waste a one page like that. Mm, yes, you can see that I skip a lot of pages. Another color pencil sketch. colored inks as I said pen and ink work very well on this paper and yeah you can do get you certainly can use watercolor paper on it and you can also get an even wash but there are more suitable sketchbooks uh, for watercolor than this uh, book, unless of course, uh, unless of course, if you want really the <clears throat> the sort of hot press kind of look, and maybe you can go for this sketchbook. And that's all. That's all for my review of the Epsilon sketchbook. So. If you want to get this sketchbook, you can check out the links in the description below. There will be links to the written review. And in the written review, there will be links to where you can buy and find this sketchbook. As well as uh, you will see a lot of scan images of the sketches that I drew in this sketchbook. Now the price for this sketchbook, I think it's slightly higher than uh, other brands. But uh, I think it's still worth the money because you... It took me quite a while to fill this sketchbook because there are 124 pages and it's a very good quality sketchbook very good nice hard cover, very durable and it's really quite good so subscribe to my youtube channel for more art product reviews in the future and i hope this review has been helpful to you and if you want to check out other sketchbook reviews, you can just do a search on my website at pakablogs.com. Uh, the link is just below. Thank you for watching.